Predator Potion Outdoors. Badass bait that works. With a special thanks to our sponsors, Duke Traps, Sin Crusher, and of course, Oki Trap Supply. be continued. All right, I finally got a day off. It's a beautiful, cool Sunday morning. It's like July 11th. I got this new dozen of Duke 650s I got from Bill Duke. Thank you, Bill Duke, for sponsoring me. And uh, I'm going to put a light coat of Rust-Oleum over them. And then when I get everything done, I'm going to dip them in my paint that I do so that's gonna be a week or two till I'm ready for that so gonna do get these done I've got uh, some old rusty ones over here I'm just gonna put a light coat over them these traps got used pretty hard last winter we had a lot of cold and freezing there after January so I had to salt quite a bit keep things working along with peat moss so gonna get a little paint on them I'll do a little video after uh, I get them painted to show you what they look like. I took these traps right out of the box and uh, put my name tags on them and took them down to the car wash, power washed them for three or four minutes. And uh, one light coat of Rust Oleum. And look how good they look. So, uh, this is what I do, guys. Um, Everybody has their own way of prepping their traps for the winter, but uh, two or three cans of Rust-Oleum, it does wonders. And then I'm going to do my other concoction later, so uh, it's a nice morning for this. It's probably about 65 degrees. We've got a nice, cool north wind, and uh, it sure makes it nice out not out here all sweaty. Getting all sweaty and like I normally do in July, but uh, we're going to keep going. Two cans of Rust Oleum and about 15 minutes. Look how much better they look. So, uh, this is just the first series of what I'm going to be doing to prep my traps, getting ready for winter. So, stay tuned. We're going to be doing something weekly now until I get all my equipment ready. So, all right, it's my day off, uh, Sunday morning. I got, oh, I don't know, seven, eight dozen traps here that are all rusty. Well, the ones for sure that I used last winter, all these 650s and a few of these others, but uh, I'm gonna put a little light coat of paint on them and uh, see how they look, get them dried out. I'm putting tags on too, got a lot of them, got the trap tags all chewed up from the coyotes and bobcats and raccoons and everything I caught, so. Anyway, it's early, and I'm gonna get these done here. So I got some other things I need to do today. So we'll be back at you. All right, I've been out about an hour. I went through, oh, I think four cans of Rust Oleum. I got uh, the rest of these Duke 650s done. I got some no BS. I had about two dozen of them, and then I've got oh four or five dozen of MB 550s. So. Got a fan on them, it's kind of humid and foggy this morning, kind of cool and damp, but I got a fan on them, and uh, I'm going to let them dry all day, and then I'm going to put them up tonight, so uh, looking good, getting that much closer to trapping season, getting things done one time, one day at a time, uh, I'm going to get my garage cleaned out, that's the next thing, getting my equipment ready, my garage cleaned out. That's kind of priorities right now. All right, it's a, what's a hot and steamy Sunday morning. I got up early to get the rest of these predator traps painted and uh, I'm doing the MB 650s today. I don't know, I've probably got two, three dozen of them and then I did my 330 bears. so uh, some of them, about half of them. So we're getting things done one week, one weekend at a time, getting everything ready for fall. Because, uh, well, it's time's flying. It won't be long. It'll be 
time to put these traps in the ground. So stay with me. We'll keep keep working on stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, I'm gonna finish painting all my traps this morning. I've got uh, two gallons of acetone and a gallon of oil base paint, and then I've got my little mixer upper here and a five gallon bucket so i just mix this thing up plop them down in there and let them dry so uh it's probably not gonna be the best day today it's quite a bit cooler we had a pretty good rain last night but uh sunday i got time so i'm gonna get her done here we go i pour a gallon in the bucket of the acetone and then i pour the paint in i've got kind of a brown it's kind of a closest i can get to dirt brown of course Different colors of soil that I'm trapping is different. Some sandy, some dark soil, but it's kind of a brown that matches the dirt. So anyway, I'm gonna pour this in there and get her all mixed up. We'll be ready to dip. It's like chocolate milk. It really, really good. Be ready to go. I haven't really got an actual count on how many traps I've got. I've got almost two dozen of no BS number threes. I think I have about five dozen of Duke 650 Pros, and then I've got probably three dozen of MB 650s and then I got my MB 550s. I got probably at least four or five dozen of them. But the last three weekends I've been painting these all with Rust-Oleum, but I wanted to get another coat over them. Some of them were looking kind of rough after last season. So uh, we're just gonna plop them down in the chocolate milk looking paint, let them dry all day and then we'll hang them up and they'll be They'll be ready to go. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Well, I'm down to the last little batch of MB550s. I've been dipping for about 30 minutes. I did all these traps here. I'm going to let them sit here, get in the sun for about a couple hours, and I'm going to flip them over, make sure the top side's dry. And then I'll put them back in my containers and Put the whole things on them, I'll be ready to go. Okay. It's a pretty simple, fast, efficient way of doing your traps. I know everybody has their own idea. Andrew Clark is the one that told me about the wool base paint a few years ago when I've been doing it. It works good. Puts a good coat on them. So, that's all there is to it. I did about 12 dozen. Let them dry. We'll be ready to go.